In today's video, I'm going to show you how I attach the binding to the wrap bodysuit from Brindle and Twig. So if you're interested to see how I do that, keep on watching. Here I have my strip of binding cut out. I like to do it in one continuous piece if possible, so I have it cut on the fold and it is 56 inches long. Here I have my wrap bodysuit all put together except for the binding. So it's gonna take a lot of pinning to make sure this goes around nicely. I have mine in one continuous piece, but yours might be two or three pieces joined together. But you're gonna start attaching it on the inner wrap portion on this flat area. So I'll turn it over. And then taking my binding right sides together with the shirt, I'm going to put right here, pin that, and then making sure that I'm not twisting this at all, I'm going to get the other end right sides together coming down at the end here. And I'm making sure that it's overhanging by an inch. So on my cutting mat here, I can just see that is an inch. And then I will pin that. So when I attach this on and I come around back to here, before I serge this edge, I'm going to actually flip this down. So I pinned it right there. I'm going to flip this down and around so that it's already nicely turned under there. And I'll show you that when we get there. So now I'm just going to go around the whole perimeter, down around all the edges, around the neckline, and I'm just going to pin this uh, binding right sides together. So you want to stretch it more as you're going around the crotch and the neck and less as you're going around the regular panels. gotten around here and I'm seeing that this I would have to stretch way too much so that's why I've pinned these not too close together so I'm gonna just adjust these a little so I'm gonna add a little more stretch over here to give it more slack for this neck area So this is up at the neck area, still more stretch required there than I would want. So over here I'm going to stretch this a little more, meaning I'm just making it, I have a bigger piece of fabric loose there. And essentially just taking some of the binding from these areas and moving them over to where I need more. Okay, that seems reasonable. And now I'll just add some more pins in the areas that I left loose. So now I will take this over to the serger and I'm going to start here. Just uh, slipped a little, let me fix that. So I want that one inch overhang. So 
So I'm gonna start here and surge around the entire perimeter. And then when I get back over here, I'm gonna pause and make sure that I have this portion folded down and around so that it gets caught when I surge down this. So now I'm going to make sure I have this part turned over so it's sandwiching around the surged seam. And then I'm going to just surge this down over the top of it. Now you can see we have that nice starting point to fold that over and zigzag the rest of it. And we're going to fold it around the whole way. Now that I have surged the binding on all the way around, this is how it looks. So the next step is to fold over and this part I've already pulled it over. And you're gonna zigzag top stitch all around the whole thing again. And so you wanna make sure that the surged seam is being caught between the layers. That's how you get the nice thick area that is strong enough to hold the snaps. So I'm going to start in this same bottom corner here and I'm going to fold this one over and I have this. So I'll just start right here. Ooh, I missed it right here. I didn't notice that. Hmm. I need to think about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just backstitch and uh, go back to my other machine and I'm going to surge right here again and make sure that I catch that hole and then just come back and pick up the zigzag again. Since it's white thread on white, I don't think it's a big deal. So I went back and fixed that oversight. You can see right here, but it'll just be caught under here anyway. It's all good. And here's the zigzag we have so far.
So the other side has this extra little bit of fabric and you can totally trim that off if you want, but I don't think it affects the comfort of the outfit, so I just leave it on. If you do trim it, just be really careful that you're not trimming off, that you're not uh, accidentally trimming through any of your main fabric. Here is the wrap bodysuit with the binding attached all the way around and I just need to put on the snaps. So here is that extra tail and I'm just going to fold that up and top stitch it down. And then I am actually going to trim off a little bit just that looks a little bit too long. So I'll be very careful and just trim off the extra that's really rolling. but. It doesn't need to happen. Like over here, I'm gonna leave that. Just some of it is really extra. And then here is where we had that mishap earlier where I realized I needed to stop. So I just have that double zigzag right there. And then you can't tell where I had that issue. So it turned out all good. I just wanted to show you that I played chicken with my bobbin and won. Look at that. I didn't even realize how close it got. I haven't even top stitched down that little tail yet. Wow. And that's the finished product. So I've attached the snaps and put the sizing stamp on and you can see here that I could trim off more of the excess right here. In the past I've when I'm serging it on I uh, trim off a little more with my machine and that actually helps to mitigate how much extra you have here and also it would have eliminated that issue I had with not catching the seam there. So in the future, I would go back to how I've done before and I would trim off more as I'm serging it on. But this of course is gonna be inside the garment, so it's all good and I'm really happy with the result. I love these wrap bodysuits and I prefer to put the binding on this way because then the snaps have three layers to go through since it's folded around that serged seam. It's nice and stabilized like that. All right, well, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff and comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for other things I should film. Happy sewing!